What is going on YouTube? It's your boy ZC23 Kicks back at you again with another fire video, man. And today, guys, I really took an L. Like, I took a major L. Unfortunately, I didn't have too much fun All-Star Weekend. So, so without further ado, we're gonna review this sneaker and I'm gonna explain to you how I took an L. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration. The main ladies in the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark. So that you can hold your love to the I am the ballad in your box. The bullet in the gun. The in the glow that let you know to call your brother's son. The story that you begun. The promise of what's to come. And I will remain a soldier to the war. So here we have it, guys. I'm pretty sure some of you may or may not know what these is. But it is the Jordan 6 social status so it comes in the special box with all the pictures on it personally this is probably my favorite box i love how they put all the pictures of the shoes on to the box because you got like the jordan retro card you got the air jordan wings you got all types of stuff on top of the box and i really like how they add the detail to it and this is hands down my favorite box so we have the air jordan 6 Hold on, it's an Air Jordan 6 Retro SP. So there's a good look at the box label right there. Size 11 and a half. I picked these up with the bot because I didn't feel like going to the social status store during All-Star Weekend because it was just so many people out there. And plus I didn't get a wristband. So it was no need to even going out there. I put it into the dashy bot and of course it bought it in like three seconds. So. I got a size 11 and a half because I really was like, you know what, if I like this sneaker, then I can just keep it and put it into my collection. If I don't like it, I can just resell it, you know, or just sell it to give, at least get my money back. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. So I got 11 and a half and um, unfortunately, the prices on these things went from above retail. By the way, retail was $250. I paid $262 to get it shipped to my house or something like that with taxes and plus shipping. So it was ended up being 260 something. And guys, this shoe is completely ugly in my opinion. I don't like it, it's just ugly in hand. The whole horsehair thing kind of threw me off. Like if they did like a new buck or a, a leather or suede, maybe, maybe that would have been a whole lot better, especially with the fine print suede, like a real fine suede, it would have been beautiful but this horsehair is really like like i don't know it's just it's just weird to me it's just re very very weird like it, here's a good look of it right here um it took them super long to ship these i don't know why social status it took them like a whole week to ship them and by the time i got them in hand the market on these things completely dropped so i ended up taking a huge l i sold these for two hundred and ten dollars but after paypal fees i got 200 i mean i got 198 or something like that so i ended up taking basically like a, a 75 dollar loss on these things like i took a 75 dollar loss on the air jordan 6 social status simply because now they you can find these in in in, in like the nike outlets for like 200 dollars. i think they going for like 220 on stock x you know so um they under retail they under retail the main the only reason why they under retail is because nike did charlotte so dirty during all-star weekend they don't have no basically everything they came out all-star weekend you can get it anywhere else the black hornets black hornet ended up giving it to other um retailers you know ended up dropping it on sneakers you know so these they didn't only release that social status they also released on nike.com and that's where some people was able to get them and they just so overproduced them i believe you can still get them off social status for like 250 but like i said you could buy them on stock x for like 220 so i ended up taking an l on these and so honestly the colorway is not that 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 bad it's not the colorway it's the it's the it's the shoe itself i just don't like the shoe like look at the horse hair i mean if you look at the horse hair from back here it just looks like to me it looks like satin like if they did this is a satin shoe i believe it would have been a whole lot better but the horse hair on it it's not it's not bad quality horse hair you see it's not that bad of a quality it's just that it's ugly in my opinion and then you have the snake skin on the side on the side panels 
you have snake scales or snake skin, whatever you want to call it, on the side panels, and that's just ugly to me. I don't like it at all. But the colorway, that black and purple, that's 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 fire in my opinion. That black and purple is nice. Then you have the icy blue sole. That is beautiful. Like that the colorway is beautiful. It's just that the materials that they use, that horse hair is really throwing me off. The snake scales is a nah, I don't really like them that much. I mean, I don't not like them, but I don't like them at the same time. Then, of course, you got the Nike Air branding on the back. They should have did this in a purple stitching. You can't really see it. Like, say, for instance, I'm back here. Can you see the Nike Air on the back? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But in my opinion, if I'm, if I'm seeing somebody wear these and I see them walking down the street, I don't think I'm going to be able to see the Nike Air on the back. So they should have did a purple stitching with the Nike Air. And then right here on the tongue, of course, you know, you got the Jordan Jumpman. Low, I mean the um, Air Jordan on the tongue, but they should have did that purple. Once again, it's black. Um, it kind of blends in with its background. You can't really see it. So these letters up here, you should have did it in purple, of course. Then you got the purple and black um, lace lock with the purple Jordan stitching on the tongue. So like I said, guys, other than the box, of course, I'm gonna love the box. The box is my favorite box. Other than that, I don't really like anything else on the shoe, like, other than the colorway. The colorway is fire, and the box is fire. Other than that, that's pretty much it. And, oh, I was about to say, it's a huge flaw on the back. But, that's pretty much it for me. So, I ended up taking a $75 loss. Once again, when you reselling, guys, I mean, I didn't really, I'm glad, I'm super glad I didn't go hard for these. I'm super glad, because... Social status don't give refunds. That's how come I, I can't just take it back because they don't accept refunds. So I'm super glad that I didn't decide to be like, hey, you know what? Let me put in the buy like, like, let me run like five, six tasks because I probably would have ended up getting five, six shoes because they were so easy to get. I don't have people like check out manually. Like I know Damn D was even able to check out manually. So. And for you to check out manually on the Shopify website, that that's, that means it's a brick, pretty much. So, uh, that's just about it about this shoe. I just wanted to express my L and how you have to be careful when you out here in these streets um, reselling because when you buy from like these shop of these mom and pop stores, like I like, mean not necessarily mom and pop, but when you buy from like a Shopify website, Shopify stores, a lot of these stores. Don't accept refunds on most of their stuff. Like most of the hype stuff, they don't accept refunds on it. So, um, be careful the way you shop. That's, that's just about. That's really the whole moral of the story here. Be careful where you shop and know what you're shopping for. So, thank you for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. I'm gonna be giving away a brand new box full of rejuvenator cleaner at 5k subscribers i believe i only need 300 more subscribers all you to to be entered into the giveaway all you gotta do is be a subscriber and leave a comment down below that's uh -oh. all you have to do so late. um it's your boys this is twin it's Kids. too late for watching um, just hit a button morty give me a beat oh man okay all right um